Lewis, one that is leaving Hank Killing to the East Breakfast area and then to the Killing. We're here standing in front of the Kank 8 parking structure. So as you can see behind me, things are, things are going well. We had a long process of planning um, thanks to COVID, but it actually really helped us out. We got into a situation where we hit the ground running earlier than we anticipated because of that planning process, and it's paid nothing but dividends. This project behind me is really a lot like an iceberg, you know, there's so much, so much work that goes in uh, that the guest is never gonna see. Utilities, concrete, and uh, really, if you could peel back the dirt behind me and look below grade, it's a work of art. My installation crew has been uh, excited about putting this build in. That's why it's going efficiently, is because they're happy about coming to work every day. These guys have been working real hard, six days a week, 12 hour days and still they come to work with a smile on their face because they like being here and doing this installation. It's important to them to do great work. This project is bigger and badder than all the other projects. Everything is bigger, heavier. The line gauge out there is over 25 feet. The haul rope is 54 millimeters, which is almost two inches. All the steel that is, that is produced for the both top station and bottom station are super heavy duty. On concrete day, everybody's got their nerves in their stomach and stuff. It's a lot of people's first time around the helicopter. Uh, our installation crew, we had plenty of veterans. But the excitement of getting the concrete and just getting it started is the hardest part. Uh, once it starts going, it's a quick process. Uh, we poured 205 yards on this whole lift line for, from start to finish, and we did it in almost nine hours. It's unbelievable the amount of work you can get done in a remote area with that helicopter here. We're really excited for the Kank 8 experience for everyone, myself included. Um, you, you're gonna come into a building that has snow on the ground and it doesn't exist anywhere else, which is amazing, but you're immediately out of the elements. You're gonna come to a load line where you have almost double the amount of time to actually load the lift when the gate's open versus the Kank Quad that used to be here. The carpet that you'll get on is, it, it has an adjustable height feature to it. Um, one that I'm most excited about is the locking restraint bar. You're gonna reload a lift and once you leave the terminal, you have the opportunity to put the bar down. But once that bar is down, it's locked and you get to the top and there's no putting it up until the lift says it's time. Working at Loon Mountain with the management team of Jay Scambio, Brian Norton, Ken Mack, super people to work around. Uh, the efficiency of getting things done, there's not a problem that we can't solve together. Uh, Jason Moore from Engelberg, down while we're working down there. They, he's also great to work with. As a team together, we have uh, pulled this project together and been staying ahead of schedule, so that way um, things are getting done the most efficient way. It's been a great experience this summer, seeing this project come to life from a year and a half of planning to starting to install and See, see the old towers of Kank Quad come out. Um, we can remember back to when we had W1, W2 here, riding that lift versus the Kank Quad that came along in uh, 95, and now what we're going to the Kank 8, I mean, an eight-person chairlift with a bubble and heated seats is just, it's such next level. And it's a major step in our planning process forward into the future of the Governor Adams Lodge. Um, it's the first piece of the puzzle. We, we knew we needed to increase our uphill capacity. We wanted to give people a, a shorter ride time, um, less time in the lift corral, all you know, queued up. And we knew we needed to have that lift and that structure in. You know, it allows that planning process to, to really kick off. It was necessary in the process to get us to where we could look at the Governor Adams Lodge, plan for, for additional seating and, and food options, programming options for rentals. And we've really just kicked that off. But in the end, what we'll have is a, a new modern lodge that's spacious and can accommodate really a lot of the things that we've been trying to offer for uh, many years.